Hi everyone, today I would like to discuss about the, the mainframe technology. Uh, before I start about the mainframe, uh, let me introduce myself, myself Kumar. I have been working as a software developer in mainframe technology from the past five years. So I would like to share my experience and knowledge on the mainframe technologies. So this video uh, will be very much useful uh, to the beginners who are very much interested to learn the mainframes. So let's go ahead and start with the topics. Uh, today I would be talking about the below topics, uh, that is when from introductions and features of mainframes and operating system, internals of mainframe, applications of mainframes and types of programs. As you all know that when we have studied in school days, mainframes are a very large size computers large size computers and let's come to the actual list of definitions of mainframe it is a large size computer which is used for high processing which is made up with frames and all frames put together is called mainframes mainframes are produced by various companies like hp honeywell honeywell bull ibm and unisys so most of the uh, most manufacturing company for the maintenance are IBM. These uh, uh, they produce very large volume of mainframe computers. So most of the organizations or uh, most of the big companies to run their business, uh, they use mainframe IBM mainframes. So let's talk about the w the features of mainframe. Uh, the first feature is like it can store very large volume of data. I can say it's like it can store extremely very large volume of data it has very high processing speed in such a way that it can f uh, uh, 4 lakhs millions instructions uh, are executed per a seconds or it can accept 4 lakh million instructions per second it can support lakhs of users concurrently it can be interfaced with any other applications. The most beauty feature of this is it has no virus and no hacking in mainframes. You can see that in future also there will be no ha no one can hack the mainframes. As of now, you might have seen that the, the different technologies which they use .NET or mainframe or n not mainframe uh, Java or some other technologies, you might can listen in the news that some systems has been hacked so I can assure you that there will be no hacking in mainframes you might have ever heard the news in media or newspaper so okay let's talk about uh, other manufacturing companies like HP Honeywell Bull these three companies are providing small and medium size applications okay so in order to run uh, any kind of computer so what you need to have you need to have an operating system installed to in order to run the main uh, in order to run this computer so there should be an uh, some what some sort of interface between the customer and the computer so in order to have operating system stands as an interface between the user or a customer and the computer so in the same way for mainframe uh, we have uh, different operating systems like MBS. Earlier they used to have MBS, then later on it, they started using MBS, like ESA. Now the present operating system is ZOS. It's called Zero Downtown Downtime Operating System. So that's simple. Uh, just uh, for now we have. Now I I hope like you might be. No, now you might be knowing about what is mainframe. Mainframe is a lot. Just now we have uh, discussed about what is mainframes and uh, what are the futures of mainframes when various companies used in the mainframes and what is the operating system they uh, use it to run for the mainframe system. So now you might be very much eager uh, to know how the mainframe works. It, it, it is a, such a big computer so how do they connect it and how do they work on mainframe computer it's very simple in order to connect to connect to to mainframe computer or work on to the mainframe computer what you need to just have an internet and 
emulator installed on your system. So the different emulators available in the market are Hummingbird, ViewNow, QWS, Vista, Fire, Extra, Roomba, and TN3270. You can you can go to Google and search for Hummingbird or ViewNow and just download and install onto your system. That's it. Once you download this emulator on your systems, every mainframe uh, has their individual IP address. So in order to connect to to a particular I a particular mainframe system, so just type an IP address into the emulator and click on connect. So that's it. You will be just going. Uh, you will get it get it connected to your mainframe. So I would uh, I can show you the screenshots uh, how they connected and uh, in my later sessions. So okay that was about uh, how do we connect to the mainframe computer um, let's let's see where this mainframe applications are used and what are the different industries uses this mainframe technologies so one is in one is banking application which is very vastly used in banking application for example they use for loan processing systems or credit card processing systems and they are vastly used in insurance applications like medical insurance, automobile insurance, property insurance and so on. And used in reservation systems, airline reservation system, railway reservation system, road transport reservation systems and so on. They are, they are very highly used in telecom communications. They have to keep track of each and every second of pulse whatever the mobile communications is going on they have to generate the bills they have to generate the statement monthly wise quarterly wise and yearly wise they should have an accurate information and they should store a large volume of data that's what the mainframe comes then they are used in manufacturing applications like automobile manufacturing electrical product manufacturing and motors manufacturing and switches manufacturing. They are also used in retail applications and real estate applications. Right. That was all about. Uh, I thought of sh uh, giving an, a glance introduction about the mainframes. What are the various companies using the mainframes? What are its futures? What is the operating system used by the mainframes? And the various applications used in different companies. So that was all about the brief introduction. Uh, I thought of sharing about the mainframes. Uh, to talk about technically uh, the mainframes, I would uh, like to uh, share this thing in my next video. To have a brief introduction about the technical terms, mainframe applications are divided into two types. One is called batch processing and other is called online processing. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video keep watching me keep watching my videos uh, I would upload few one more